China's road development continues to speed ahead in 2023, with the launch of more lines aimed at fostering economic and social development within the country and beyond. As of the end of November, the total operation mileage of China's railway network exceeded 155,500 kilometers, including 43,700 kilometers of high-speed railways. China's fastest sea-crossing high-speed rail started operation in September in East China's Fujian province, featuring advanced technology and intelligence. With a design speed of 350 km per hour, the high-speed railway slashes travel time between Fuzhou and Xiamen, an economic hub and tourist hotspot in the province, to just under an hour. Fuzhou to Xiamen, a one-hour life span. 就更加方便，呃，生活呀、啊，工作啊，然后沿途的风景也是非常美的。A railway linking the cities of Lijiang and Shangri-La, two well-known tourist destinations in southwest China's Yunnan province, opened to traffic in November. The new line helps improve transportation in ethnic minority areas. The Jakarta Bangun High Speed Railway, the first HSR in Indonesia and Southeast Asia, has handled more than 1 million passenger trips since its commercial operation was officially launched in October. With a design speed of 350 km per hour, the 142.3 km HSR cuts the journey between Jakarta and Bangun from over 3 hours to around 40 minutes. Yang saya rasakan cepat, nyaman, dan tidak ada guncangan di kecepatan tinggi. The China Laos Railway, which launched its international passenger service in April, has transported over 100,000 cross-border passengers by early December. The 1,035-kilometer railway connects Kuoming in China with Vietnam in Laos. And travel time has been cut to 9.5 hours.